Good morning, folks. Today we're watching significant threats for eruption on an otherwise silent star. We've got global electric circuit Easter eggs as well, but let's begin at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star was very quiet and calm. The primary thing we're looking at right now are the plasma filaments, same two as yesterday, one on the north and one on the south at the same heliographic longitude. They have been very stable since appearing and have not yet signaled any eruptive behavior. We're going to watch them until they release and eject or they turn out of view. Something interesting to note. The small southern coronal hole next to the thinner plasma filament just dropped off our disaster prediction app detections as it is in decay. It is narrowing, allowing a more populated corona above, and folks, you are watching the closing of a coronal hole. Pretty cool. You see a red dot leading a sunspot group left of center trying to grow quickly but failing on every level, and solar flaring remains flatlined under the earth-facing quiet effect. And you can also see that in addition to the lack of big flashes, there are no other ejections, streamers, or jets that are being relevant right now. Solar wind doing its solar flaring impression. Coronal stream is over and we're back to nice and calm conditions at Earth. Let's see today's notes. Salton Sea had another little uptick and we've got another official government warning for the region of Southern California. It's a bit alarmist even for a quake forecaster, and with which it's very difficult to agree. Opposite story in New Zealand where the government's warning for the northern volcano might actually not go far enough. Eruptions are likely after the magmatic swarm below. Folks, remember the August 2011 Virginia quake that damaged some monuments in Washington, D.C.? And remember how Hurricane Irene intensified and ran right by there within just four days? Do you remember 1991, when a seismic uptick hit the Philippines, and then Typhoon Yunya formed and ran right overhead two days later, while Pinatubo's great modern eruption blasted up through the typhoon clouds, the darker part? Well, after Italy's horrible week of seismic activity, a rare tropical storm force system formed in the Mediterranean right over the foreshock I used to predict the earthquake in the days before, the quake hit before the Earth spot. Nearly a fifth of the remaining tickets for observing the frontier went out the door yesterday. Remember to email me if you got your tickets in October and are not already a website member. We have put out a different kind of deeper look episode on Halloween. Trust me, you'll want to click it. And today we'll get your planetary geometry for November out, which includes a major supermoon in just two weeks. We've got pressure and radar forecasts followed by shots of our star to close. It's 5.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.